How to install VirtualBox in Apple Silicon Computer? VirtualBox is a powerful virtualization software for emulating any type of operating system, Windows, Linux, macOS, and Solaris inside our hardware. The only limit is actually the source of our machine. Is classified as an hypervisor and he has a double license, open source and uh, Oracle one. Okay, the good news is that finally the support for Apple Silicon, which means all the newest uh, Apple machine released uh, in the last two years, I'm talking about uh, processor name uh, M1 Pro Max and Ultra as well also the new M2 uh, Pro Max Ultra we can find out a beta support that is called developer preview as you can see from the official download website this is classified as developer preview and is actually in beta 4 at the moment of recording this video but uh, it's not my preferred way of downloading the software. My preferred way is to use Homebrew for macOS. Homebrew is a very handy command line interface that we can use uh, to interact with a Homebrew package manager. And uh, taking a quick uh, look uh, on uh, the available uh, VirtualBox uh, Formula, we can see that uh, at the moment is only support the Intel version 64 bit, as you can see here. Okay, so what do we can do? Well, doing a web search, uh, I find out that uh, this vibrant community called Homebrew Cask version, that is an alternative repository for Homebrew is available a cask named virtualbox-beta available for intel but also for arm and is already up to date because it supports beta 4 so sounds great we only need to jump on our command line and copy and paste this command to enable the additional repository and in a blink of an eye we're expecting to have a VirtualBox beta available let's try out in the terminal welcome to my terminal this is a normal macOS terminal just a full screen to make you bigger and able to read from any device so let me I take a look on the current status of homebrew it's already installed so I can use uh, the brew command install operation VirtualBox. Okay, this might take a while. I already downloaded the file uh, just for the speeding up the video. We ended up having this error that say VirtualBox can't run on the current hardware architecture. It's expecting Intel but uh, we are running on ARM64 as you can see so let me try out uh, to find the package VirtualBox beta and there is no cask available so let me enable the additional repository homebrew cask versions and uh, well now is cloning the repository this might take a while depends by the uh, the speed of your internet connection so we are basically watching a progress line 20% uh, and uh, moving faster and faster so after the successful download I'm expecting to be able to execute uh, the VirtualBox dash beta formula to install the VirtualBox uh, for Apple Silicon in my macOS. I really like the Homebrew package manager. It makes managing my system more easy because uh, I can uh, update uh, all the packages in my system with a simple brew update uh, rather than manually going through the website and download all the necessary files. You know, 
is very nice the first time, but when you have uh, many uh, program to update, uh, it's going to take a while and it also manages the VTBAN dependencies underneath. Let me repeat the latest command brew install virtualbox beta and uh, oh, excitement. Well, the result is different this time. As you can see, uh, it's going to prompt it out that we need to enable the system preferences, security and privacy in general, because we need to enable some uh, additional component uh, on the kernel level. So it might require a reboot of our machine. Okay, but uh, what is important is that it's not ending with an error, but actually Homebrew is downloading the setup file in our machine. We already reached out the 36% so it's not going to take longer until uh, we have uh, this software in our system. So I really like Homebrew because after downloading is also setting up for us and uh, we are able to basically maintain up to date our system with just a few commands. So VirtualBox is very nice software for virtualizing any other operating system, so might be very handy if you are a developer and you need to set up some uh, development environment or just for testing a different version of an operating system. I'm using quite a while for testing my virtual machine for uh, the Ansible project and it's very great because I can recreate a virtual machine in just seconds. Okay, let me enter the administration password for installing the software. This is uh, completely automated as you can see and now it's fully installed. So now let me check it out with system preferences, security and privacy to enable the Oracle VirtualBox. Okay, now I'm back on my desktop. Let me search for application and I have a new one. VirtualBox uh, is available in my application line. As you can see, the software runs smoothly and now checking the about session, we see that the release is uh, a beta release, so we are ready to have a lot of fun. Great, now we can create our virtual machine with a simple new, for example, I already downloaded my Fedora Linux and is here on the desktop, so I could drag and drop, oh, maybe I need to select from the desktop location and uh, please be careful because uh, we are running on an ARM processor so we need uh, a specific version of the operating system. In this case Fedora release under the Arch64 architecture and there are plenty of operating systems nowadays. The most uh, important is the release of Windows Windows 11 is available for ARM and so it's different architecture where are a lot of advantages but also some drawbacks that some um, old applications are not actually running. Let me adjust uh, the RAM and CPUs for this, this uh, virtual machine as well also let me increase from 2 GB to 10 GB this hard disk uh, space and we are finished, we are ready to go. So now the virtual machine is ready. I need only to just start, start it and I'm ready to use my virtual machine in my Apple Silicon. Yay, I think it's a great success. Thank you Homebrew for simplifying my workflow.